everyone. This is Devin Adams. Uh, welcome to our last video on this quick S <laughs> this quick SSL VPN demo. Uh, anyways, uh, this will be my last video for a while. But I had someone in another uh, video of mine ask me, "Well, we're having some problems using remote uh, uh, remote authentication using LDAP because we always get our VPN SSL tunnels stuck at 45%." We keep saying we keep getting error messages saying that there is uh, uh, permissions denied or, or not allowed or what have you invalid login. Anyways, <clears throat> so I wanted to record this real quickly to show you that there is two different flavors, uh, especially when you're in a Windows environment, of the LDAP querying that you need to keep in mind to successfully authenticate through the FortiGate. You got to regulate. All right, so check this out, guys. Are you ready? So I went ahead and on my uh, support PC. All right. Nope. I lied on my domain controller. OK, uh, I created a new user in our sales department. And uh, in my examples before, I've been using real flat names. My first name matched the login name. And that's not very realistic. In fact, we just had an Ivan P. Freely, right, join our group. And his display name, his full display name is uh, Ian P. Freely. <laughs> All right. And he is a member of the sales group. OK, but if we come over here to accounts, his login name is actually IP freely. IP freely. Haha. Uh -huh. All right. So you see how that's different from his full name. All right. So when you do your LDAP connection of love and you do CN, the common name. All right. It's going to be that full display name to log in. And let's uh, let's actually test that out. OK, so for example here. All right. Um, and, and what's interesting too is I joined him to the domain and I had him log into Sally's machine, right? And if I go to my FortiGate collector here, you can see it's IP freely. All right, that was what was recorded. And on top of that, on my FortiGate, if I go to my, my um, single sign on users because it captured that, all right? All right, see how it's IP freely that's from the FSSO okay Bill what are you downloading all right so it's natural to assume well that's what we'd use when we do LDAP queries so you know Ian goes out there on the road all right so here he is he, he actually uh, jacked uh, Paul's laptop we're just using the same account and we come to our for the client down here and we say connect to HQ and naturally, he's going to put an IP freely. I mean, that's what he types in every single day when he logs into his Windows machine. All right. So, all right. So we say connecting 40. Oh, what? 48, 45. Permission denied. What the fudgicals? Wait, what's going on here? Well, the reason why is because, right, he is not IP freely, but he's Ian P freely using the CN for the distinguished name. So once again, all right, if we come up here to our, um, you know what, actually, I'll show you here. If we come up here to our user logins, that is his CN. It's ENP freely. It is not his Microsoft login account. Microsoft meaning, you know, his, his login to the domain controller. All right. So to fix this, if you want to have IP freely used across the board, it's not CN, but it's SAM account name. All right, so are you ready? Let's fix this together. We're going to go over to our policy and objects. I lied. We're going to our users and devices. All right, and I'm going to go to my um, LDAP server. And instead of CN, and this is all in the 40 handbook too, if you guys need a better explanation. Uh, but here it is, SAM account name. Okay, I'll even hit the little test here. Toasty, got it, successful, hit OK. Okay, SAM account name saying use the Microsoft login ID instead of the common name. All right, uh, so here we go. Are you ready? If we come over here now to our remote machine that we couldn't log into before, all right, and I type in IP freely, and 
and I hit connect, it goes right past 45%, all the way on to 98%. And depending on if my bug's still there, that's still the weirdest thing that I got that error message, guys. I'd be all over the tack about that. Um, well, I'll let you think about it, okay? <laughs> I'm going to come back over here to my to my FortiGate just to show you. All right, now if I go to my, um, let's see here, my monitor and my firewall users. So we see the IP freely, IP freely. See the two IP freelies, right? By the way, there's two of them there because of the LDAP query. So when I had to make the bind to check his username and password. But if we go to our firewall, SLVPN, did that really, did it finally break? Okay, okay, awesome. I'm glad this happened. I'll show you why, because I'm not going crazy. Check this out, are you guys ready? All right. It's that weird web block thing that I called attack about. Because if I use this, I was okay. I had that with Paul. All right, so let's try it out. IP freely. All right. There we go. But you saw it got past the 45%. So it was able to find him just fine. And like I said, for some reason, this part of the Forti client works and the other part doesn't, guys. That is a straight up bug. All right, someone needs to report that to the tag. Okay, um, crazy, huh? So let's go back here and let's hit our refresh and you'll see now it's IP freely. Now, if we would have kept that with CN, okay? In fact, just because I don't wanna go home, here we go, we can do that, okay? Just to show you the difference. So I'm gonna disconnect them. Was that weird though? That's, that's a straight up bug, guys. Um, all right, so here we go. Let's go to our LDAP. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to change that back to CN. All right. And I can even do a test. Okay. And now I go back to my sales machine. Sales. I right click, I connect to HQ, I type in ENP freely, same password, and it shoots right past the 45%. So Jason, there you go. I think that's the problem that you might be having. So check your LDAP settings. Make sure you see which selector you're using for the distinguished name. If it's SAM account, use the Microsoft login prefix, like the first part of like someone's email account. If it's the CN though, uh, use the full name and uh, I hope you found that helpful bud and once again I'm glad you guys witnessed that so I wasn't crazy right like when I <laughs> when I logged in using this interface I got a failure then I right away logged in using that other interface and it went right through oh my gosh that is just crazy anyways guys um, this is like a weird I bet you anything this is like a weird like pseudo one of those progressive web apps whatever so um, but I hope that helped bud so and I uh, learned something to myself and uh, this wraps up the SSL VPN chapter and I'll talk to you guys later all right have a good one